With the release of the JFK files, President Trump accomplishes three major things. On Friday, the John F. Kennedy files were released. On Saturday, President Donald Trump assured the public that they were not only released, but way ahead of the game plan. JFK files are released, long ahead of schedule. The president tweeted. Now, with the release of the files, Trump has accomplished three major things worth noting. Since the beginning of Trump's presidency, he's been in a war with our intelligence agencies, and the latest battle you can chalk up as a victory for the president. Big League. This is bigger than just feeding the conspiracy theorists. It's bigger than just releasing the long-awaited files. It's even bigger than exposing the CIA for past plans, such as staging a false flag in Miami to frame it on Cuba to kill Fidel Castro. Yes, that actually happened. Zeke Miller of the Associated Press had some interesting comments from a recent piece of his. He did not intend to make this easy, and that's why I love this president. When the files were about to be released, the CIA did everything in their power to keep their secrets hidden, trying to delay the release of 2,800 documents that involved the assassination of former President John F. Kennedy. However, Trump didn't flinch in resisting signing off on requests for additional redactions, and now, the files are scheduled to be released in their entirety on the National Archive site tomorrow. According to a source familiar with the process, the CIA began work months ago to get its remaining assassination-related documents ready for release on Thursday. When Thursday came, those documents weren't ready. The false flag in Miami managed to leak out, so what exactly was taken out in all of these months and through this delay? We'll get to that more momentarily, but let's start with what I mentioned earlier, it's bigger than just a conspiracy theory. When the average person first saw this story reported, the first reaction was, hey, that's pretty cool. We get to find out more about the JFK assassination. However, it's bigger than that. What this does is expose how far the CIA can truly go, how they'll even murder innocent Americans, and if they'll murder their own, why wouldn't they murder the President of the United States? Why wouldn't they murder Trump? When your life is under massive threat due to blatant assassination talk in the mainstream media and Hollywood on a daily basis, and with open threats coming from the deep state and Antifa as well as George Soros openly funding billions of dollars to radical leftist terrorist groups, why not release classified John F. Kennedy assassination documents in such a crucial time in this country, and the world, to expose information that the CIA is terrified of the populace knowing? Give a warning to the people, this could happen to me. I have your back, they don't. This is such a smart move by President Trump. We've seen it both with the FBI and CIA, how the president relentlessly goes against them. With the FBI, you have the James Comey example. You have Comey, leading an agency and using it for political purposes against Trump, but that's not a problem, you can just fire him. Wrong. You have the leftist mainstream media in their power completely against you in this situation as well. Still, the president didn't falter and made the move anyways, firing Comey as FBI director, a guy who I was confused about from the get-go as to how he even got that job. When the smoke clears after the firing, the president comes out as victorious while mainstream media, leftists, and, more importantly, the intelligence community lost. Again. When it comes to the CIA, you obviously have the most recent example with these JFK files. Several attempts by the CIA to try to delay the release of the documents constantly were denied by the president. No matter what they threw at him, Trump had in his mind that he wanted transparency to get to the people, and that's exactly what he did when he didn't weaken and continued with his plans to release the files. What a beautiful signing of the dotted line that had to be. We haven't been able to read the JFK files in their entirety as of yet, but we've already been delivered a major bombshell, the CIA had planned a false flag in Miami to frame Q before a plot to assassinate Fidel Castro. So, a couple of questions arise from that. If that managed to slip out, what else is the CIA going to let be known? If that kind of material leaks out, what other kinds of horror are they still keeping a secret? Even if the questions aren't answered, 
it already clarifies what we've already known, the CIA is not to be trusted, and the kind of horror and terrorism that they've been involved in are probably at heights that we can't even imagine. We've already heard massive amounts of conspiracy theory conversations about the CIA and how much killing of innocent people that they've been involved in. It's even been a conversation piece when talks about the Las Vegas shooting comes up. Regardless, the CIA is being exposed, and Trump made it an even quicker process with the release of the JFK files. So, all in all, President Trump has issued a warning to the American people. Won another battle in a war with the intelligence community. Exposed the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. That, America, is so much winning, just like he promised, promised.